Starlings, this is Kiyomi. Welcome back to the channel. I want to sincerely apologize for the two month wait uh, between videos. Uh, a lot of things have been going on, and I have finally got everything settled down enough for me to start recording again. Uh, today, we are going to continue our episode because I want to just push out something really short because uh, I do have something to do tomorrow and I don't want to make anything completely long. Uh, we're going to finish up Operation Quarterback. Uh, last time we left off, I was undercover uh, to this college, uh, but sorry, let's backtrack a little bit. My partner died. I almost hurt somebody. Uh, I was put undercover to watch, I believe it was the senator's son. Uh, but you know, I had to get my grind on, on some dude that just so happens to be the Senator's son already. I feel like I messed up. I don't know yet. Uh, let's see where this journey takes us. Uh, I'm kind of scared. Not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> cause he remembers me. Oh, he remembers me. And I unfortunately remember him, uh, I regret everything. Let's get started, shall we? <laughs> All right, let's start, guys. I'm holding Cruz. Oh, no. Crap. Well, you found your target. Yes, I did. Do I want to change his looks? Nah, I'm okay. Everything all right there? You look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, uh, fine. F feeling a little queasy, actually. It's none of your business. Uh, I'm, uh, it's not that one. I know it's not. It's none of your business. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's, you know what? Let's play it off. It's my first day of quote unquote collage. I'm feeling a bit queasy. Just feeling... A little queasy suddenly. Oh my god. Jeez. Is the memory of last night... <laughs> is that revolting to you? No! Um... It's something else! Yeah, that was, that was not fun. Can we not? Please, thank you. You left before I could catch your name. You don't need to know it. <laughs> It's Kiyomi, Kiyomi Mizushima. A pretty name for a pretty face, can we not? <laughs> well, it looks as though I've just met the campus flirt. Oh boy. You know, I thought that you looked stunning when I first saw you on Friday night, but you look just as beautiful now as you did then. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Why haven't I ever seen you on campus before? Um, it, uh, 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 now would be a good time to make up a great backstory, play coy with him, seize up and falter. I ain't seizing up and faltering. Nah, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm peachy clean. Um, you know what? According to my friends, I'm a good, good liar. I'm gonna make up the greatest backstory in history. My mama died, uh... I, I became an orphan, so in order to fulfill my mama's dreams before she passed, I just wanted to be the greatest person in the world. And it all starts with going to college. Boom. I'm kidding. That was terrible. I'm actually new here. No, 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 you're not. I just transferred from Michigan State University. Oh, okay. So you know what? Yeah, perf. That's even better. I got two years in at Michigan and I decided to come here to get that new air smell. I got, I got brains. I landed an internship for a company close by and they secured me a job right after graduation. Oh, dang. She lies better than me. Plus, it's fun and exciting to check out new places. She's not wrong. So that's how I landed at Seacrest. 
Wow, you're impressive. I know, right? My line skills are good. <laughs> well, let me be the first to formally in welcome you to Seacrest. Thank you. Can you leave now? <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, good thinking on your feet, Mizushima. Oh my God, I know, I'm amazing. Hey, you mentioned that you were going to Harris Hall. What class are you in right now? Econ. Room 205, me too. Must be fate. Sure. Fate or FBI level hacking. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you a shortcut. Why is it all of a sudden I'm scared when I hear shortcuts? Great. Hold in. Oh, Oh, I gotta be these girls. Okay, so it's the blonde one talking. Let me see if I can maintain this voice. Let's see. Hey, cutie, how was your summer break? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my best friend, and I love her to death, but God, her voice annoys me. I'll leave you to catch up with your groupies. <laughs> Sneaks away. I really hope Armstrong's in a good mood because he is not going to like about I've already blown it with Holden. Woo! This better be good news because I'm no, I'm not in the mood today. Oh, fuck. Totally. Crap. <laughs> well, it's actually more of an idea. Okay, listen up. Listen, listen. An idea? A pitch. Hold up. Oh God, hey, hey, I have good, I have good ideas. Hear me out. I know my mission was to protect Holden without him knowing I'm here, but I think I should actually get to know him. Close, but not too close. Okay, you know what? That's actually kind of genius. I'm listening. By befriending him, the likelihood that he'll suspect I'm his bodyguard will be much lower because I'll just be this dumb idiot that likes to follow him around like a groupie. And I'll be better able to protect him by getting to know his personality and routines because I'm a groupie. <laughs> Why do I love saying groupie? <laughs> You're thinking like a true agent, Mizushima. Good work. Oh, God, thank God. Oh, I thought he was going to be so pissed. Oh. In fact, I want you to start today already on it. <laughs> we met him in a club. I grinded my ass on him. I met him in the, uh, in the, in the, in the quad. We already got this boo-boo. It's fine. Get him to take you to lunch. Ain't a problem. <laughs> Make sure he wants to see you again. Ain't a problem. <laughs> Don't blow this, Mizushima. And report back after duty. I mean, he already liked me, so. <laughs> yes, sir. Just after I go to econ. I remember econ, not from college. Actually, no, from college and from high school. They sucked. <laughs> Who in Jesus' name? All right, first second. From that right there, this right here, this dude right here, I don't like him. I don't know why. He gives me a bad vibe. No, it's not from the piercings. I just don't like him. Mind if I sit here? <laughs> what do I look like? The chair police? Sit wherever you want. See? Already. His name's Buck. I don't like it. Same girl. I'm a little surprised you're not over there fun over crews like every female in this class. Is this guy for real? Accuse him of being jealous or brush it off. I'm going to brush it off because to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> He's not even worth the effort. I only ask because in the last three years, you're the only girl that has it. Why do you even care? I believe in knowing my best friend's business. He's your best friend. You look like a hardened criminal. Just say. Your friends with Holden. Why does that surprise you? I don't know because you look like a thug. 
I don't know. You, he got this whole boy next door look going on, and you, you got this whole James Dean vibe happening. See again, thug. Can he not? I'm surprised you made it out of there. Those girls look bloodthirsty. Oh, they did too. Or just thirsty. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, today we are we're starting uh, with a course overview. If you can open your syllabus to page one, we'll get started. I already don't like her. <laughs> I don't know why. The teacher already annoys me. Probably because I just hate school. Hey, wait. Run. I don't run. You know this. You know, you're a little hard to get a read on. Me? Never. I just like to keep people on their toes. I have mood swings. To be honest, the I have mood swings is me, IRL. Uh, I'm not going to say that, though. Uh, sass. Keep you on toes. Mm -mm -mm. Sass. Me? Never. Uh-huh. So what's up? I just wanted to get to know you, say I think you're cool, compliment your intelligence. Mm. I'm thinking get to know you because I already grinded up on you at a club. Kind of a bad first impression. So <laughs> I know I've been a little hot and cold, but I really like to get to know you. I like that too. Jackpot. But given the whole hot and cold thing, can I trust it? I mean, you seem pretty uninterested in getting to know me. What? No, I'm not. Uh-huh. Then what are you doing right now? Freeze a bird. Get lunch with me. Prove that you're not just going to run off again. But go to lunch and fall on Strong Soldier. And she'll hold on trustworthy. Um, lunch is a go. If we're, I'm, I'm obviously not choosing not interested, okay? I need to do this. Mm, I'm a crack a joke. If we're using your meal card, I'm in. But we're using your meal card. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where do you usually sit? Follow me. I'll show you my go-to table. Nice. She's cute. I see the appeal of what? Your table. Good natural lights, nice proximity to the buffet line. What more can you need? You get me. I like it only because I don't like light, but I get to be near the buffet line. That's amazing for me already. I'm just a girl who believes in seconds. Me. <laughs> Did I just fall in love with your burger, right? It's right in your line of vision. Are you ever going to let me like you? Only time shall tell. Well, you're at least letting me get to know you. I'll take what I can get. <clears throat> so, tell me something about yourself. Well, art is my thing. I volunteer at animal shelters. I've saved a life before. I'm not going to say I saved a life before. Because that might make him go... In like what way? And then a whole spiel's gonna go. Um, I'm gonna do I volunteer at animal shelters because I love animals. I do have a dog. He annoys me, but I love him. I spend a lot of my summers volunteering at animal shelters. Those precious creatures deserve the world and they do. An animal lover, huh? Very fitting. What about you? My family's all always under the public's eye, so it's kind of been hard to do normal kid things. But Foot Falls has always been that rock for me that kept me grounded. It can't be easy feeling like you're always on a stage. You have no idea. But moments like this with you makes things feel okay. Damn, he already that deep? Just saying that? Ooh. Oh, God. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, brunette, she looks kind of valley girly-ish. Let's try this. Okay. <clears throat> can, can you believe Holden isn't sitting with the boys for lunch? 
It's pretty impressive that the new girl swept Golden Boy off his feet so fast. She must be pretty awesome if Holden is gushing over her. <laughs> Sorry I brought you into this mess. They're not wrong though. You're pretty awesome. I know, honey. <laughs> Believe me, I can handle a little gossip. Oh yeah. When I was 10, I fell asleep with gum in my mouth. When I woke up, there was a huge knot of hair and bubblegum on my head. I ended up having to cut chunks of my hair out. All the kids at school made fun of me for years. I had to, to develop a pretty thick skin from that one. Man, kids are ruthless. Aren't they though? That's why I don't want any. Tell me about it. I haven't chewed gum since. <laughs> well, if you're ready to face your fears or if you need protection from all bubble gum, I'm here for you. Thank you. My hero. I'm really happy I came here with you. Me too. Aww, aren't we cute? I'm usually super cautious about who I open up with, but there's something about you. I guess I just feel like I can be real with you. Aww, thank you, boo. Is that corny? I guess I just, I'm just saying that because I like being around you. You're a sweet guy, Holden. Nothing like the dumb, mean jocks in all the movies and the stories af make athletes. Athletes. I can't say athletes. What is with my life? Nothing like the dumb, mean jocks. All the movies and stories make athletes out to be. I'm glad I can do a little better than dumb and mean. Yep. Ah, Jesus. Text. Oh, sweet Jesus. God almighty. Who's this? It better not be a mom. I have to run, but next time? As long as there's going to be a next time. And he winks at me. Okay, boo. Oh, Jesus. What great timing. Yeah, I want text messages. Open. Jesus. Agent Mizushima, the college has assigned you room 115 for your stay on campus. Head to the campus housing to collect your keys. I have agents coming with your belongings. And I bet my room is right next door to Holden's. Oh, I loved my apartment though. I'm so mad about that still. Room 115, this must be it. Looks kind of nice. Oh, it's my besties! Yes! We heard someone needed help moving to their college storm. I hate all of you. <laughs> I can't believe that Armstrong sent you guys. What can we say? We're both pretty persuasive when it comes to you, okay? So dumb. And we are dying to come help you decorate your dorm room. If I get to decorate my dorm room, y'all, we're going to be here for a cool last minute. <laughs> we both know how much you loved your apartment. Yes. And I'm so mad about that. And you'll be back, into, back in it one day soon. But in the meantime, you deserve a place you love. That's why we brought some options. Oh, my God. Yes. Thank you. I hear it. I sense it. I've decorated my room. <laughs> Jen even consulted an interior designer. Yes. She spent hours getting everything just right oh my god there were mood boards oh my god oh my god you guys i can't believe you did this all for me i can't wait another, another second let's show you yo i can't wait oh, oh. clean neutral palette modern but cozy bruh Not only will it make this living here more bearable, it will totally help you fit in. Oh! Girl said I was on pastel pink. I don't like pink, but I'm with it. The great essence aged up just enough. Okay. No. Man, let's like, no. He's not leaving. Hell fucking no. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. I always told myself that if I was able to get a big apartment, 
not not the one I'm currently in, but if I was able to get a bigger apartment, I would make mine so modern, it's disgusting. <laughs> I'm getting the modern one. I like I love pink. Pink is pretty. It's a beautiful color. It looked nice in this, but modern. Yes. I love this room. <laughs> Yay. You deserve it, Kiyomi. You deserve a room that feels like home. Hell yes, I do. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Boom. This came out incredible. I knew this would be a good idea. It really feels like mine. It's so cozy. Who knocking at my door? Who's that? No one knows I'm here except... Before I even peer through the people, someone, something inside me already knew who it was. And even if I didn't have an inkling who it was at my door, the broad set of shoulders through that people was a dead giveaway. Holden. Shit. What are we gonna do? Everybody remain calm. I'll handle this. I will... Shit. <laughs> hide you in my closet create a backstory on the spot or freeze up no we're not gonna freeze up that's a dumb dumbass move all right i'm really good at lying but i feel like the answer no mm -mm. this is so difficult I'm, I'm gonna i think i'm gonna choose hide in the closet i don't know why but hide you in my closet your closet, come on, get moving. Dang, I move fast. Hold on, is there something I can do for you? I know this seems weird, but you left your notebook in the dining hall after lunch. I just, and I wanted to return it back to you. The RSA, you just have moved into this room when I was asking around. Oh, thank you, you're a lifesaver. You live nearby? Uh, room... One, uh, one, two, one, just down the hall. Of course. I'm on my way to football practice, but if you need a hand with anything, I'm only a few do doors away. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. You know, that closet trick was actually pretty smart thinking. I know. That's the guy I'm supposed to be protecting. That's him. He looks like a Greek god. Oh, please, he's not that attractive. Um, excuse you, honey. He's slightly better looking than you. Jealous much? So, did the senator want you to protect his son or date him? Oh, stop. You know he cute as hell, right? You'd be crazy to not be interested. And you clearly captured his attention. Who brings someone's empty notebook back to them? I'll admit he's attractive. I'm his bodyguard. You make a good point. To be honest, though, I didn't write anything on my notebook. It's empty. You make a pretty good point. You make a good point. It does seem possible he's developing feelings. But I have no intention of changing the parameters of our relationship. I think what Jen's trying to say is this holding guy is clearly interested interested in getting to know you. Maybe it's something that you should make Kat, the captain or Senator Cruz aware of. Should I tell my superiors that my target has to display an interest in me? Yes, they need to be aware of the impending situation. No, why tell them that something, most of that might be nothing. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to be a difficult choice because even though it is right now, nothing, it's just a boy that got a crush on a fine ass woman, AKA me. Uh, I don't, I feel like they need to know, but at the same time, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this right now. It looks like a tiny little crush. A tiny little cr crush is physically nothing. It's like, oh, I think she cute. Cool. I'm going to say no. But if I give, if I am given another chance and the crush has developed into something more. Oh, I'm become a snitch. 
Uh oh. When it amount it amounts to something significant, I'll tell them. It's your funeral. You know, he reminds me of Tanner. Sorry. I know, it's okay. He reminds me of Tom too. There's just something similar about them. You can't beat yourself over Tom forever. Nor can I pretend like it didn't happen. Later that evening. Sorry, I had to, guys. Open text message. Uh-oh. Komi, we have learned that there's some men hanging around the, near the football locker rooms. Holden has practice that. Can you make sure he's not in any danger? Absolutely. I'll, be, I'll pretend to be going on a run so I'm already in the area without him being suspicious. Thank you. I'm so grateful to have you looking out for my son. Oh! Okay. This one, I don't like. This one's kind of cute, though. But this one makes me look sexy and also shows off a tattoo I have. I'm going to go with this one because I don't want anything to come about with this one. So I'm going to go with this one. Nice. I ran the entire distance around the campus in the direction of what I was told by the RA. Where the locker rooms? Where the football field and locker rooms? The sun had fully set on my way over and there were a little light provided by the lampposts. Hired hitman. Oh, my. oh God. Thug one, thug two, thug three. Only difference is he do look like a thug. He definitely does look like a thug. And then this one right here. They picked him off off the street and said, "Hey, you want to kill somebody? Yeah, sure." Because he looked like my he looked like one of my cousins, and my cousin loves to read. So, <laughs> jumping a college student just, just this just seems like something below our pay grade. This isn't just a college student. This is the senator's son, and we're being paid some big bucks too. How do you say put him out of commission? <laughs> they were here for Holden. I knew it. I knew it. Do I have to kick some butt? I'm about to right now. Yeah, I just finished up in the gym. I'm about to head back to my room now. I need to do something. Should I, I should be Holden's hero. Nail this first assignment to come to come to. I ain't calling nobody. I'm about to ninja kick somebody in the face. I'm gonna be Holden's hero. I can do this. Hey, you three. Did you hear that? There's a girl over there. You shouldn't be running around after dark, young lady. You never know what could happen to a pretty young thing like you. You and Michael Jackson, you're not even allowed to say pretty young thing. How rude. We're not here for you, girl. Just turn around and run back the way you came. You look like my cousin. You look like you stay up until 5 a.m. reading books. You need to leave. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't do that. Well, you brought this upon yourself. I'm not going to fight a woman. That's my cousin. We get paid to jump crews, not some random college girl. So leave and forfeit your part of the reward. I'm sure you'll both sleep easily knowing that you would have beaten up an innocent girl. I'm out. See, my cousin, right there. I kept my eyes on both men as they circled me. Although they were bigger and stronger than me, I knew I had an agility advantage of them because I am flexible AF. I'm sorry, what? We got about to kick some butt. Kiyomi, hold in. That's the target. Hold on, Kiyomi. Why the? F why the? D d d why the? Why the? All right, whatever. You have to go through me before you lay a finger on him. That can be. Oh, time choices. Oh hell. Okay. All right. Yes. Ooh. Oh. That had to hurt. <laughs> you really want to end up like your companion? Bring it on, little girl. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yes. Off. Dang it. <laughs> Holden. Hey, asshole. Down, down, perfect. Kiyomi, you were incredible. You're bleeding. It's all in my hair, too. There, how's that? Great. Now I feel like someone loser with a banjo face. 
His deep laugh was strangely enchanting and captivating at the same time. Don't tell me. I'm going to say I'm what? I, I don't think it mentioned my age. I'm going to say I'm like 24. Okay? He's like probably 21. Now! Oh, hell. His eyes crinkled at the corners as he flashed his perfectly white teeth. Can we not? You're amazing out there, can we? Have you done martial arts before or something? You think they do martial arts? Uh, that's exactly it. Yes, totally. For sure. Yes. That's exactly it. I took years of martial arts classes to growing up. My mom said, nobody touching you. You kicking their ass before the, you, they kick yours. Yup. Well, it definitely paid off. But I just want to say thank you for everything, Holden. For everything. Ah, hell. You've been so nice to me since we met this morning and then with all this commotion. I'm practically a stranger, yet you did this all for me. Maybe we should change that. Ah! Frickity fracking two birds in one packing. <sighs> did you say something? It's getting late. I should get you home. I'm so scared. Why am I scared? As soon as we stepped outside into the warm breeze, I freeze. A hey, barks. This is where those men stood, ready to jump Holden. I can still see the way they were standing here, waiting to waiting for him to emerge after football practice. I wonder what they would have done if I wasn't here. Would he have been all right? Kill me? God, I'm such an idiot. Of course, you would be going into shock. Shock. Was that what this was? Was this uncontrollable shivering and flashbacks caused by pure shock? Here. Oh, whoa. Okay, bruh. <laughs> Within a matter of seconds, his jacket was off and he slipped it around my shoulders. I rolled up the sleeves that were <laughs> far too long on me and my shiver subsided. Perhaps Shivley wasn't dead. All right. Now I seriously need to get you home before you decide to pass out on me. Uh... Holden, what are you doing? Oh, sir? Sir! Excuse me? me? Sir? 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 I did not, I did not give consent. I did not ask for this. You see how short I am. I don't like being picked up. How rude. Getting home safely, Miss Mizushima. In a single movement, he swept me in his arms and began to carry me back to the dorms. I had to admit... I wasn't expecting this when I went undercover. But I also couldn't help but admit that I was enjoying it. To be continued. All right, y'all. A lot of roller coasters of emotions. I we're going to we're going to stop here because a I whoop people's ass. B he decided to pick me up. C I have a feeling I'm about to fall in love with him. D, he's already fallen in love with me. I'm shook. I'm shooketh. I'm, I'm, I'm physically speechless. I, I, I. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that bell to see when I post. Again, I do apologize for the two month wait. Um. And things have been happening, but I think it's a good thing I came back because things just got spicy. <laughs> uh, I will see you guys later. Take care.